Nice and sleek. One. It's an accessory. Two. Black girl magic. Three. You get to show your creativity. Strands of hair. You look good, you feel good. It's culture. Hair to the black community, like it's sacred. Identity. You look good, you feel good. A way of expressing yourself. Hair, most importantly, um, to us is something that's not just our look. I think it has become us. Tempest Burks Golden learned at a young age. Now she's teaching her four year old daughter. And it's like you're leaving a legacy. But it's not just transition. lessons of hair. And you want them to be able to embrace who they are and not what somebody tells them they have to be, and not to be ashamed of who you are based off the color of your skin, but to embrace it. We haven't always been privileged to be able to have the neatest hair or all of our hair is not always as long and flowing and it is a tighter texture and more of a quality texture. Many in the black community feel their hair isn't an expression or a newfound fascination that should be accepted, but instead a right that shouldn't stunt someone from advancing in the country. I had watched a documentary that um, Oprah was on and she was talking about how she was a reporter and how first she did get to rock her small jerry curl but then different networks wanted her to be straight and that future is in the hands of legislators yet again finding ways to prevent this from hindering black men and women from advancing some people believe it say we could wear your hair wherever whichever way you want in a business or and when you're at work and everything like this it's just not that. Senator Greg Taylor is talking about the Crown Act, which stands for creating a respectful and open world of natural hair. The law gives legal protection to race-based hairstyles. We don't ever want to change who we are to make sure that we fit in. So when you're able to be able to express yourself freely, it makes you feel like you're a part of it and you're a part of the equality. The Crown Act has been passed into law in 20 states across the country. Indiana is not one of them. Senator Taylor says it boils down to cultural competency. Most of the legislators in the state of Indiana really don't understand the issue uh, associated with the Crown Act. But what is it going to take for conversations to happen at the state house? As a public policymaker, I don't want to make public policy on the back of something tragic happening. First of all, that leads to bad policy making. Second, there's somebody who has to suffer before we step up. We shouldn't be acting that way in the state of Indiana. So for now, society has grown a little bit. People like Tempest will work to do their part. The rubber band or a hair tie. Strand by strand. Always be yourself. Advocating for acceptance. Black and beautiful. For her community. And for everything that our ancestors have went through, it's a good way to show them it was worth it. Caitlin Kendall, WR.